Hi everyone, welcome to Carmen's Australian Storytime. I am at Mission Beach today and that's the beautiful Duck Island you can see behind me. It is a lovely steamy 34 degrees at the moment, but look at this view, it's so magical. I thought what a great place to read a book. Today I am reading Sad the Dog. Mr. and Mrs. Cripps feed their dog, wash him, and even clean inside his ears, but they didn't give him a name. So the dog names himself Sad. What will it take to make Sad the dog happy? Oh, I wonder. It's written by Sandy Fussell and illustrated by Tal Suwanakit. I like these illustrations. He does look a little bit sad in that picture. Mr. and Mrs. Cripps owned a little dog, an unwanted Christmas present from a friend. Aww. They fed the dog and washed him, even cleaned inside his ears, but they didn't give him a name. Poor sad. Hey you, Mrs. Cripps called. Dog, Mr. Cripps bellowed. The little dog felt unhappy, and in his heart he whispered a name. Sad. Oh, poor puppy. Sad the dog was very clever. He could sing wonderful songs. Stop that yapping, Mr. Cripps boomed. Sad could draw beautiful pictures. Stop digging in my garden, Mrs. Cripps screamed. <laughs> um, that is lovely, but I think plants are supposed to stay in the ground, aren't they? He could read stories. Stop ripping up that newspaper, Mr. and Mrs. Cripps yelled. He just lay there being sad. Sorry, pages stuck together. One day a truck came and took away everything. Everything, except sad. Oh, don't tell me they've moved and left him behind. That's terrible, poor sad. There was no Mr. Cripps to yell at him, no Mrs. Cripps to shout at him and no one to fill his bowl at night. What's he going to eat? Poor Sad. Look, he's howling. He howled and howled until he fell asleep. In the morning, a bigger truck came and Sad heard voices in the house. The back door slammed open and a boy jumped down the steps. Mum, you forgot to tell me our new home has a puppy. This is the best surprise ever. Sad backed away. He was frightened. <gasps> Who were these people? Oh, they look friendly though. Would you like to go for a walk? The boy asked. Sam, Sad hid behind the rubbish bin. The boy filled Sad's bowl with clean water. Maybe you will feel like a walk tomorrow. They look very friendly. That night, the boy gave Sad a bowl of crunchy biscuits. My name's Jack and we're going to be best friends, he said. Jack put a padded basket on the back porch. This is for you to sleep in. He's really taking good care of Sad. Sad's not used to this. The next morning after a soft, snuggly sleep. Sad woke to find Jack sitting on the porch beside him. I've brought you a special treat for breakfast, Jack said. It smelled delicious. Jack slipped the piece of sausage into Sad's mouth. He tickled Sad behind his ears and scratched his neck. Sad liked that feeling. He liked the sausage and he liked Jack best of all. 
and look at them both. I love this picture. Do you want to play, Jack asked. Sad's tail wagged. Sad and Jack dug in the dirt for buried treasure. No one screamed, Stop digging in my garden! Sad and Jack built a pirate ship out of boxes. Land ahoy! called Jack. Yar! Sad barked. No one boomed. Stop that yapping. I think he might like Jack. When Jack made paper aeroplanes for Sad to chase, no one complained about the mess. It was warm and cosy on the end of the bed that night. I'm going to call you lucky, Jack said with a hug. The little dog felt happy, and in his heart he whispered his new name, Lucky. He was never sad again. What a great story, and what a lucky dog to have found some beautiful owners that care about him. There they are with their big smiles again. This is a great book. Thank you for joining me on Carmen's Australian Storytime in such a beautiful spot to read a book. And I will see you next time. Don't forget to click and subscribe. Bye for now.